Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to show you guys today is going to be our very first time that we get to do a fishing with subscriber video. This is Mr. Greg Taylor. Yo. He so kindly sent an invite uh, via email uh, to get out here at Kachuma. He is actually reluctantly going to show us his favorite rig and reluctantly because he's the only one that does that here in Akachuma. So we'll see if we do any good. We might see a few more, which he doesn't want. But actually, I'm gonna preface this by saying this is the method I've always wanted to do since our friend Dylan caught a 10 pounder on this very same setup. And Bob never wants to do it. <laughs> so if we do really well on this, we might see Bob trying this rig. So Greg is going to again, reluctantly show us this rig. What do you call it, Greg? Naked worm. So we have braided line to just a regular snap swivel. And then I have this like mini swivel just cause I like it. One of the tricks about the, the worm is it really needs to spin in the water. So you don't want that spinning up your line. So they basically two swivels and I don't know, what is that a six? Something like that. It's a simple worm hook. It's got the little, little extra keepers on it. That's it, four pound test, about the uh, width of my arms. And now we're gonna be running this on the downriggers? Uh, yeah, yep. but we're not gonna be very deep. You could do this without it, with just like a sinker on it would be fine. At this time of year, because it's so cold. So you'll need one piece of equipment, called a worm threader, that thing right there. So it's a little piece of wood, a brass, and then a little tiny hole on the top. Step one, retrieve said volunteer, as they say. <laughs> and all worms have a head and a tail. The head's over here, the tail is the flat section. So we're going to take it about right here, stick that guy in there, leave a little bit of tail left, push it in there, and go all the way up the worm. So it pops out the head. Just like that. Grab said hook. goes into that hole right there. Now the trick. You want to wrap around your finger a couple times and pull on it so it bends the hook a little bit or bends the shaft and just slowly push it up. Force it over. Until the hook pops out the other side. Release. And there you go. Threaded worm. I'm going to troll this at around 1.5 miles an hour. Pretty normal. And we're going to put it back behind the boat 100 feet. See how the worm is rolling in the water there? This could roll a little bit more, but the more it rolls, the more lively it is. And since this is the beginning of the morning, we're probably going to go down just 10 feet. The earlier in the morning, the, the higher up the fish are, you can mark the fish all the way down to the bottom, but those fish are not hungry. So fish that are hungry usually are 15 feet and above, but in the summertime, in the warmer waters, you can get, you have to go down to 30 feet. I've caught them as low as 40 in this lake. Man, so far Greg is dropping some amazing knowledge. So if you guys are getting something out of this, definitely drop a like on this video. There you go. Now we're fishing. Four so rods just, to do. Who's next? What are there's we four? Do? You can run four? That's the downrigger trick is these go low and then I can do two top. Oh, all right. I do have a crankbait I do want to try. All right. All right, guys, you've heard of Mystery Tackle Box. You may or may not know that they actually have different boxes that you can alternate from. You can alternate from bass, which is the most popular, but they also have a trout and panfish box and you can toggle anytime during the month so that the next month your order will be a different one. But I'm really excited about this one. This one's the, the trout and panfish box. And there is a, one particular lure that I really want to try today. Uh, and that's this crank goby and it's just right uh, it runs three to five feet so maybe in the morning I, I could see this getting bit if they're on the surface so we'll, we'll give that for a shot for a little bit we may or may not catch anything on this but it's pretty cool because this box comes with a ton of variety and uh, it allows you to try a bunch of different things this box has spoons spinners little jig heads little swim baits so you can try a bunch of different things so we'll give this a shot see how we do we'll put this down and maybe get a bite, but maybe not. Maybe that naked worm's gonna just kill it all day. But uh, Greg's also gonna be trying 
a bunch of different things today as well but we definitely want to see if that naked worm will do well so that's usually the plan in the morning is just to put a variety out there and then start to gradually move over to what we're having the most success with right greg yes sir <laughs> but yes that is today's sponsor mystery tackle box if you guys want more information link is below uh you do have special discount codes with hook to cook so thank you mystery tackle box so yeah, this Savage Gear Gobi is just smaller than a size five Flicka Shad, and this size five Flicka Shad has done really well for us. So um, there shouldn't really be a reason other than the depth that this shouldn't get bit. So we'll see. And also, if we can catch a trout today, there's a mystery tackle box in the truck with Greg's name on it. Never been used. Although we were really excited to catch fish, it turned out to be a grind. We trolled and trolled and trolled. It got calm, it got windy, it got sunny, it got rainy. We didn't get a bite until this one. Below 30 feet. Whoa. That would be a fish. That's a fish. No, no, go, go. Wow, on the weightless worm? Yeah, but it's not there anymore. On the weightless worm, the weightless naked worm, right on top. Well, that's a great sign. Just fly lining a night crawler, no weight. <laughs> fly lining a night crawler. <laughs> Even if we didn't bring in that fish, that one bite told us a lot. Since it was a fly line night crawler, it let us know the fish were on the surface. So we continued to switch out baits until we found one that works. At the bottom of our tackle box was a 1 16th ounce red rooster tail. This bait stayed on the surface and watch what happens. This television screen size with those left to right in the circle. Like an actual screen, not like a projector. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's on. He's on. Is that a fish? Oh, it is a fish. It is a fish. We got one on the rooster tail. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. And then here's the challenge on this boat. What is it, 14 foot? 14. 14 foot. And so we can't both stand at the same time. <laughs> you can stand. One of us can stand. We have to choose. Man, this feels good. We'll see, we'll see. Please be a trout. Oh, you want me to stand? Okay. You do what you think. Okay. You land the fish, don't worry about me. It's a team effort. I want to horse him. Oh, yep. Head shakes, head shakes like a trout. It's definitely not a crappie. Yeah, he would give him up right now. Yeah, he would be coming to the, oh shoot, that's worrisome. Oh, come back, come back. This is a good one. This is a good fish. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes! Oh, that's a big one. Oh, zero. <laughs> oh, that is a big trout. Perfect. Six hours of work for one. Yeah, <laughs> it's already uh, 144. We got heat on the water at like 7:15. Yeah, that's all right. Going backwards. Oh going crap! Out and I was trying to go in. Oh, fish, fish, fish. No. There he is, there he is. Oh, another nice one. Another nice one. Oh, he ate it good. Very nice one. I need a bigger net. 
Oh, <laughs> there. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, baby, we got it. <laughs> that is a nice one. Another nice one here. Oh my Why gosh. That is another. Here, I'll grab it. That is another nice one. <laughs> yeah, that's another good one. You know what? We did get on fish, and you said that you can never have too much gear. No, you can't. Yeah, no. It's like asking a woman, how many shoes do you have? Yeah. yeah you, you can use one more pair. So yeah. what's the mystery in this mystery tank? It's just a bunch of like different things that you may or may not have tried, and kind of it's it's one of those things like kind of like today, kind of like today, how we threw every single bait that we had at these fish. And the last thing that you ended up throwing on was a red rooster tail. And that's what ended up doing really, really well. So Dude, there might be a situation where that, that might work. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That might have worked right there. Stop right here. You see that bait he's holding up? He literally texted me three days later showing me this picture. That exact bait caught him two great sized trout. <laughs> Yeah, there's just a, an assortment of things in there that, pretty that cool. may or may not work. And I pulled one of these out of a belly of a trout once. Oh, mm, oh, and you spoke about crappie yeah. um, earlier, like crappie jigs. Look at this. This this is trollable. Oh, there we it's go. got a little blade. It's got that. So maybe once the crappie start eating here, that'd be nice. And it's in one eighth ounce, so uh, it, it might be castable, oh, like snap. really Look good. Look at that thing. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know what it is. But... It's a vertical jig. It's for like ice fishing. This is the crappie setup it's, though, right? It's trout and panfish. That's, trout that's and what panfish? this is. Yeah. As long as it goes into my boat. Yeah. I love it. Nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Unexpected. Bonus round. Ooh, yeah. These are nice. You can have paddle tails on <laughs> Well, all right. So so the, the naked worm didn't work. So don't use the naked worm out here at Kachuma. Please don't. Please. He says, please don't. <laughs> But when, when the bite's good, I'm sure it works really, really well. But I'm going to take this opportunity once again to say thank you, Greg. Thank you for the invite and no problem. The, the hospitality out on the lake today. It's always cool to meet new people and fish together. So we encourage you to go and do that. Any last words for everybody? Subscribe, baby. Pound it, yo, wherever that is. <laughs> it's up here, down here, I don't know where I think it's in this corner right here. It's in that corner right here. <laughs> yeah. Pound it, man. Or just tap it gently. Just tap it gently. Tap it gently. <laughs> sort of like the fish with our lures today. Just tap it gently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My goodness, yes. Those three or four that we missed. That's. It's all right though. Could have right. the boat. It's all right. Sharper hooks. Maybe next time. <laughs>